Hello fellow survivors and welcome back to Road to 500 Days. We are here in the Forsaken Airfield basement where we have still glimmer fog because you notice the lights are all on and making all this beep 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 noise but actually this is not an aurora this is yeah it's glimmer fog and I think even though it's probably not going to last too long because it's night soon we are going to go out and repair the tower and go hunting with this thing to figure out if there's any cache around. And we can't do the story mode because that's somewhere else. That's in, well, back in Great Bear, the mainland, not mainland, uh, well, main Great Bear, you know what I mean. So we can't do that yet, but we can do cache searches, which usually don't have anything in Interloper, but worth a check. We're gonna go outside. We won't be outside that long, I guess. I do need to make a new bow as well. And now we got insomnia risk because we're going uh, up. And we're exposed to insomnia, which isn't really a big deal. But before we can use this radio though, we do need to repair transmitter tower, which I hadn't done deliberately because when you repair the transmitter tower, you trigger an aurora. Let me have a look in here. I haven't actually seen this. Look at that. All the instruments. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> um, yeah, if you repair the transmitter, an aurora is triggered. Not during the day, of course, but once... Uh, if it's nighttime, the weather changes to an aurora. And if it's daytime, the next night will be an aurora. So this means that this is a good time to actually go out and search for things. We're going to repair it, and there should be enough stuff just around here for me to repair this. So I can just like click this stuff, car battery, pick up all these things, scrap metal. Uh, hello. I think that's more than enough. And then we can start repairing stuff. And this will allow the transmitter to work. So now we can actually start tracking. We can start figuring out where the caches are. Which is more of a trivial thing on Interloper. There's hardly anything in there. Well, there was an exception where in Broken... No. Yeah, in Desolation Point you could find a technical balaclava on Interloper in a cache. But I believe that was a bug. But it's really just an excuse for more exploration. Uh, I need three fuses, okay. Repair wires. Let's repair car battery as well. And then we need the fuses. I'm missing one, I think. I do have some in the basement, but I don't think I brought anything back from here, though, did I? Uh, let's just see if there's one around. Any fuses laying about? No? How many do I have? Three. Really? I'm warming up. Probably counts as indoors. Interesting. Is it got you freezing? I guess I, by accident, took one of the fuses back, I guess. Because it should all be, everything you need should be out there. Okay, well, in that case, it's fine. She'll detail. Let's go back. Grab a fuse. Hmm. Must have, uh, yeah, accidentally picked one up. I was pretty sure that everything you need to repair the first one is just right there. The Glimmer Fog is a great phenomenon, I really like it. I think this is a really cool addition to the game. At the moment it's only in Forsaken Airfield as of this recording. Oh, I forgot to mention. But in this episode there'll also be a giveaway. Which I will get to at some point. Oh, did it end the Glimmer Fog? I think it did. It ended. So I'll get to it when I get to it. And you can win a code for the Far Territory. Yeah, it ended. Okay. Uh, I could nap this actually. Do I get fight home? Warm up soon. Yeah. 
Will reveal more though when um, when the aurora hits. So what I think we'll do is we will sleep for like one hour to warm up, bring a fuse out, repair the transmitter, and then I believe that should trigger an aurora. There's three on that. Sleep for like one hour. So we warm up and we're ready to go out. Dun it, dun it, dun dun dun. Okay, there we are. Oops. All right, let's go. I can easily navigate this in the dark if I want to, without the lantern. I just like the lantern for convenience sake. And also it's a bit nicer for you, the viewer, so uh, generally speaking when I play I tend to bring out the lantern or torch just so you can see more, even if I wouldn't necessarily use it always, but it varies. We've got a clear night here. This can easily become an aurora. So let's repair this and then it should trigger. This should change to an aurora. Now it's interesting when I walked around that this actually counted as indoors. Like, right so here, yeah, this counts as indoors. So does this. All right, let's repair the uh, fuses. And then when I turn the transmitter on, I believe this should change to an Aurora. Well, will you look at that? <laughs> Where did this Aurora come from, I wonder? <laughs> And that's how it works. It makes sense because they want to get you to get going right away. So this is the story mode. No, this is the story mode, I think. We want this one. So we need to find a signal first. Let's uh, check out this plane. Should make a noise when it picks up a signal. Ah, there we go. You hear that noise? That means the signal has been found. Let's go. So it's like you wanted to go all the way to the right, so like that. You you'd think it'd be something like this, like the middle means forward, but actually it's to the right. If it's to the right, that means you're on the right track. Our right, colds so are gonna sprint, and the signal gets stronger and stronger the closer you are. I'll beep faster. And it actually beeps so fast, you're right on top of it. Somewhere out here. Getting closer. And there we are, look. Middle of nowhere. And there we go. Cash is out. Hey, cloth. Alright. Cool. Now I wait for the next signal. And we'll do a little trip while we're out here. We'll stay out in the Aurora for a little while and loot some stuff while we're at it. I do need to get indoors though to make sure I don't freeze to death. So we'll have to do this in increments. Let's just check these uh, little houses here. They can have uh, 
a hammer in it, I believe. Doesn't seem to be anything here. Yeah, quite cold. Yeah, very, very cold. Let's check out, uh, we'll go back to the airfield and we'll warm up a little bit and then we'll continue onwards to, we'll head towards Mindful Cottage I think. We can check out the helicopter while we're at it, we can get the Polaroid, so I think that'd be a good place to go. But first I'm just going to check here, I think I checked the plane already, yeah I did yeah. Trailer needs to be looted, but I can also wait. Over here, I have not checked this place. We can repair the sweater while I warm up a bit. Might use a match. I see anything here? Hammer? No, we got spray paint, fuse, scrap metal. I go and uh, drop this stuff in the basement actually, so I'm not carrying it around. Firewood bin. This looks See there? Nothing on top of this. <laughs> Alright, let's head inside for a little bit to warm up. And I can drop this stuff also, and then I'm gonna go back outside. And continue searching. Might as well take advantage. It's an early night. The only, I don't have much health is the only thing. And I'm very cold. So that's the only downside. But of course, I don't have to do it all in one night. There'll be more auroras and there'll be more glimmer folk. So I just want to get to the mindful cavern. And we'll go from there. So let's head down here. And let's just drop some stuff. Let's drop it over here actually. So we got some things we don't need. So we don't need uh, this. Or that. Or this much cloth for that matter. We don't need this. We don't need that or that. I guess that's it I guess. Yeah, we leave the seed over here. Yeah, so scrap metal, put it in our scrap metal pile here. That's like not at all neatly organized. Use, we can put that here. This way. Cloth, cloth, uh, that we can put here in our little collection. Scrap metal also. Stack it. I'll tidy this some other time. Cloth. Yeah, who cares for now? <laughs> Let's make a little thing here. That can be on top of this. Wires. Yeah. Okay. Nice. And while we heat up, let's repair the this one that I found. I think. This is something else that needs repairing. Um, think so. Let's repair this. It takes 51 minutes. It's fine. There we are. We're warming up. Perfect. We'll pick w one of these. Let's also eat something. Um, let's eat. Oh yeah, actually one of these. That is carry weight and this is fatigue. You'll eat this. That's going to come in handy here. It won't be as tired. I see, yeah, that's good. Let's go. I need to stop and heat up here and there. Come here. 
All right, so let's see. I still think the Aurora is one of the best effects in the game. I think it's phenomenal. And they started designing it fairly early, but it's so cool. Not only is it visually stunning, but it's such a cool and clever addition to the game. Because, well, for one thing, it's visually very appealing. The colors that they see in the sky is so cool. But in addition to that, it opens up a whole new world. It's like almost like there's another dimension to the long dark. And this dimension is only open during an aurora. Because all the lights turn on, all the electricity turns on. You know, so there's a whole new world that opens up. And that's just fantastic. I think that's really, really cool. Uh, and then, of course, in addition to that, there's small dangers. Well, electricity can kill you, for one. There's also things like, well, the Aurora Wolf and the Aurora Bears are out and they are going to really hurt you. I wonder if there'll be Aurora Lynxes. So, or Aurora Cougars, rather. That'll be interesting. So there's all these threats. So going out during Aurora gives you a real sense of beauty, but at a very high risk or cost. Let's see what we got here, if anything. That metal bucket. Okay. Let's see. My fingers feel and then hit two seconds. Yeah, this all looks good. All right. Okay, we got quality tools, jerry can, and accelerant. Oh, that's great. What else have we got? Anti set. I might drop this here and put it on note because I don't need to carry this around. Candy bar. We need to hunt, but there's going to be a lot of cattails where I'm going also. Mm, can't see completely, so. Paper. Let's see here. Okay. Sometimes you can find combat boots in here and combat trousers too. So you can get really good stuff here in this trailer. Definitely worth checking out. Okay, I think that's it. Yeah, I think so. Okay, but tell you what, I don't need all this stuff right now. Uh, there's no point really carrying it with, so I'm gonna drop this. I'm gonna drop that. Uh, I will drop um, the, the tools too. I'm gonna refuel this. And then, oh, yeah, I just don't want, don't want that to disappear. <laughs> so. Make sure we drop that. That was that, and I'll write a little note here. Uh, uh, so we got jerry can, antiseptic tools, disc in airport trailer, so don't forget. We have already repaired this, let's go around that. Need to make a new bow, yeah, but I can wait. Okay. Uh, a bit cold, but I might make a fire on the way. I might use a match. I haven't really used any matches. <clears throat> All right. How long has this headache got? 15 minutes. Let's head to the crash site. Pick up some cattails along the way. See if we find any cash. Now, I have no idea where the cash are, so I haven't completed signal voids. Uh, beyond kind of what I'm doing now on the first the first bunker. However, because of, you know, I'm very active in the community and so on, um, I'm fully aware of what it involves and I know what rewards you can find in the bunkers. Um, so I know, and I know, I think I know where they are as well. You know, I found all of them. So I know the single void storyline and progression pretty well. But I never looked into where the supply caches are, so I have no clue where they are. I do believe there's like three or four per region, give or take. So those I'm completely blind to. Alright, we got cold already. <clears throat> we might warm up over here. Uh, in that, uh, this place. But like the derelict uh, workers, whatever. Looks like we got Aurora Wolves out. We can't look for moose because they won't be out during the aurora. I think we should also heat up some teas. I think I'm going to use a match here. 
Just to avoid taking too much damage, because I do want to take advantage of this Aurora as much as I can, within reason, of course. There's the wolves, no decoys except for that. Uh, start a fire. Nah, we'll light a torch. And then we're going to do warm up, and then we'll continue, and then we'll chain some torches to make this journey a little bit easier. So we have very little health. I'd rather not fight oh, an Aurora Wolf. A royal wolf has more health than a regular wolf. Still died to it from a headshot though, but... Put on coal. And water-wise, we're okay water-wise, I guess. Any teas? I can make a coffee, I guess. Let's make a herbal tea. Yeah, that's good. Map during the aurora. Surveyor's memory. That's done. It's done. And I'm going to place all of these for warmth. We'll probably drink the birch tea. Maybe the burdock tea too. Uh, make a little bit of water, I think. Do I have any birch bark? I don't think so. No. So we're not going to stay here too long. Just going to warm up pretty much. Reset those. Get some good torches. Eh, acceptable. Terrible. Uh, acceptable, I guess, yeah. Oh, very bad. Also bad. Wow, oh, some really bad torches there. That's okay. That's okay as well. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay, the next one we just take regardless. Okay, nice. And uh, let's wait a little bit to warm up slightly more. Even a tiny bit more. There we are. And then we can take these, uh, or rather we can heat up, rather light the torch. Use this one. I'll we'll take our drinks. We show hot. And we can go. There's our Timberwolves, not Timberwolves, but raw wolves. And we're gonna go along the lake here because there's cattails. This is also one of the pers prospective moose spawns right here. Now suddenly I uh, got really heavy. Is that the wind? I think it is, yeah. I drink the coffee. Yeah, very cold. Let's drink the coffee. I'll walk faster as well. Now I'll drink the birch bark after. I oh, want all of these for food. Light the torch. Seems to be windy, but not so windy that uh, the torch blows out. That's the thing when when there's an aurora, the weather is always clear. It's by default. You'll never get bad weather during an aurora, but you can get strong winds. There can be strong winds, uh, but you won't find like snowfall or blizzards or anything. Not until the aurora ends. Not gonna be every oh, there we are, it blew out. Okay, so so much for that match then. Let's drink the birch tea. Okay, 
And keep picking these up for some calories. I haven't gotten any signal yet, so... Don't think... Anything? No. Let's keep going. This aura could last for who knows how long. I would like to get the mindful cabin, but if I have to sleep in the middle of the map, that's fine too. So over here on these rocks here, there's actually a little hidden area that's often missed. There's a little a little corner, a little campfire in there. Where you can warm up. I would have to start a fire for that though. But around here, oh, we got a signal. That changes things. We got a signal. I think we need to warm up before we go for it though, maybe. Or maybe not. Oops. In here, there's a little corner over here. Campfire! And then you can kind of warm up. Not warm enough though. But we can light a fire here, which I think we're going to do. I'm going to use another match. I am very conservative with my matches, but right now I'm going to use two. I'm not going to use another one though, because this is just to. Make sure I keep my health high enough. There we go. And let's just use the coal that we have. We kind of have to use the coal, actually. And let's just, again, heat up our teas and stuff. We should be able to drink whenever we want. And we got enough water. Anything we can cook? I don't think so. Broth, yeah, I don't need that. Wait. No, never mind. Need to grind those. Can we map here as well? Yeah, we can. There we are. Okay, I'm going to see which direction this thing is in. This way, kind of towards the helicopter. That's all right. Okay, we're going to do that. Let's see. Uh, let's just kill some time by eating these. I'm going to just eat a bunch of these until we're pretty much completely full. And then we'll head back out. I don't have enough wood to stay here, so I'm going to have to keep moving. Or head back, of course. Worst case scenario, I can pop a stim, but it shouldn't be necessary. There we are. I okay, think that's good enough. And let's just see, is this going to blow out? I'm guessing the answer is yes. Mm, it should, but it doesn't at the moment. Let's just uh, drink the Raishi tea right now. Speed this up, because I don't want to wait around while the Aurora's going. There we are. Grab a good torch or two. Ah, that's terrible. Oh, I want a good one. Good enough. Let's go. And it was in this direction over here. Let's grab these cattails first. Sound like Aurora Wolves in the distance there. Grab these sticks also, we need some sticks. We don't have much wood. 
even two sticks matter because you can heat up your teas. Go this way. Check this out first. I'm not sure, but I think you can stay warm in here actually. Ah, I did blow out in the end. Okay. Makes things easier. Final approach. Have we got this rest pistol? No. Uh, we are not warm now. I think I will maybe loot this later. Nah, let's loot it now. I don't know if we'll come back here. We'll loot it now. It's a bunch of these uh, lockers to loot. Okay, it's cloth. Let's try not to take too long though. We can find a distress pistol here, which we didn't find. Ah, a load of clothing, okay. Uh, lock it there. And there. This one. And that one too. And there's a couple of other lockers as well. It's a bed here you can sleep in, but it barely gives any bonus. Uh, more lockers. I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. So I'm missing something. Make a fire up here. <laughs> Uh, let's drink the uh, burdock tea. We're not going to use that for anything. All right, let's get this out. This way. There's the Aurora Bear. Come out to play. I'd rather not kill him because it's too in the open. I'll sort food out later. This way. It's cold, but not that cold actually. Minus, oh, okay. minus 41, okay. Not that cold, he says. But only minus 41 is not that cold. We should be fine from here, I think. Mindful Cabin is up the uh, right or up there. You can barely see it, but it's there. Uh... Come on, Cash. I was hoping there would be a Cash on the way to Mindful Cottage. Are these warm still? Yeah, we're gonna use the drink the coffee actually. That's what it's for. Get a bit warm, slightly, and uh, get some rest back too. Did I say I hate being cold? Because I really do. Give me the cash. Come on. This is so cold. I just want to lay down for a bit. We found it. Yeah, marine flare. Yeah, well, there's something. Okay. I might have to use a stim here. I don't have to, but I think I might need to. Because it's very cold and the um, cabin is a little bit far away. I can make it there, I think, but I'm not 100% sure. I'd either use a stim or a, a match. But that depends on how many sticks I can find, because it's minus 41. So we need a lot of sticks. But you can also make a fire and shelter and heat up some teas. Well, let's see how we manage. Let's see how we get on.
Got the bow ready just in case. That's an Aurora Wolf right there. Minus 39 in shelf there, really. Yes. This is, isn't this shelf to the position? Minus 25, so we need a lot of sticks in that case. A lot of sticks. Could be done though. I do have a slight scent on me, so the arrows could follow me all the way. Uh, because I have a couple pies I'm carrying. I might actually try and make a fire to warm up instead of using the stim. But if I have to, I will use the stim. We need 26 sticks. Which I think can be done, actually. In which case I will have used quite a few matches today. Three matches. But that's fine. I have a lot of matches. Cold. Uh, it's possible I can make it there without the fire, but I don't think so. There's the Aurora Wolf. He hasn't detected me. How many sticks do I have? 27. Okay, so we can actually do this now. Okay, then I'm, I'm good. There's the cabin up there. But uh, we can't get there. We have to go all the way around. We're going to go up here, though. I will make a fire if we need to. Mm, looks like we probably do need to. Is that the Aurora Bear? Yeah, it's the Aurora Bear out there. I don't know if I've ever been actually right, right here at the foot of the cabin. I don't know if I've ever been here. I suppose it's a cave or something. I know the map's more or less like the back of my hand, but there's a few places I haven't really been to more than maybe once. I don't suppose there is a... doesn't look like there's a cab, uh, cave here. But it does look sheltered. So I might make my fire here. And then we'll go from there. So that's a stim, but I think we'll make a fire. I think actually the wind stopped as well. Let's make a fire. No decoys, okay. The row is ending. And I think we should be able to get there without the use of a um One little fire. A stim. But if I have to use a stim I will. Perfect. Yeah. I am going to make one more coffee. Actually two, because I might have one. Let's save the other. And there we are, we're warming up. No more charcoal. There we go. So now we're no longer cold. We're barely warm though. <laughs> what we can do, we can do it like this. Uh, if it allows me to place it, that is. Can I move this a bit closer? Can't put it down here on the this ice. Won't let me do it now. I'm freezing. 
There was a green spot there, wasn't there? Come on. Show me the green spot. There we are. Okay. Take that, make some water. And then just pass some time here. There we go. I don't think we need more though. There we go. And... Oops! No, 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 no. Uh, we might as well put these down, but I don't think that matters too much. There we are. And then we're going to just pass some time here. And look at that. Now we're warm. Sun is up. Let's go. Still alive. Now we're going to get cold again, but that's okay. Alright. Let's keep going. Are you on the edge of your seat yet? No, the alternative to what I did there would be to take a stim and just run. And you should have been able to get all the way up there with the stim. And if not, close enough with the extra health regained. Or you can stack up on those pies that the regenerate health. That's also an option. Yeah, it's morning, but we're going to sleep through most of the day though. That's what we're going to do to recover some health. Pretty much. Oh, we got two caches. We did. Looks like I made it through another night. And it cost me uh, three matches and three coffees. Well, two, but I'm going to drink one. The one that's like this one. I'm going to drink that now. Three matches and uh, three coffees. That's it. That's fine. Didn't have to use the steam in the end so far. Fog is setting in. Let's keep going. I think we should make it without dying, which would be preferable. And then we'll rest in the mindful cabin. Is there a glimmer fog coming in? Because it's starting to get kind of foggy. I think it's just normal fog, actually. Yeah. So this is a good example of what I said earlier that when the last episode the Forsaken airfield is deceptively open, right? So you know exactly where to go, but it's so open and in the open plains also as you saw there's very little wood. Like there's basically nothing. Wait, did I pick up my no, I didn't. I didn't pick up my pies. I left them there. Oops. I have to go back and get them. That's okay. We have to go there anyway. So, um, yeah, uh, it's very deceptive in that sense because you you don't have any wood, you ride in the open, which also makes it so that it's miles to anywhere, so you aren't uh, really safe. It's really, really dangerous. Everything is far away, you're cold, you're stuck, you have no shelter, there's no wood. So even though it's, you can see everything, you are extremely exposed which is really really bad okay I'm actually cutting it a little bit more close than I would like but I think we should be able to make it worst case I will I will pop a stem oh, these are still hot drink the acorn coffee that barely does anything there we are, there we are. warm it up a little bit acorn coffee for the rescue I actually did more than I thought it would. Didn't warm up that much. The the amount that uh, food warms up is actually dependent on the food. Some food warms up more than others. I think it's rose sip and reishi tea warms the most when you drink it. And things like uh, tomato soup and stuff warms the least, I think. Uh, there is a uh, statistics on it out there, which I don't remember. It's the sort of thing that's a typical mechanic in the game that I t I'm not too bothered about learning because I'm not that invested 
into the mechanics of a game that I need to remember what kind of tea warms me most. I mean, all teas or hot food warms you to a certain degree, so I would drink it anyway. So what difference does it really make? But if you really wanted to, you could of course tactically remember and then pick that tea more often. So there we are, we actually made it to the Mindful Cabin. Good stuff. Mindful Cabin. We can't map it on thing. Uh, well, we don't have charcoal anyway. And we are warm. Hooray! We made it. Hurrah! Use. Hope nobody needs Bolt this us. And in here, is there charcoal in here? Hmm. Two dog food. Water in here, which we don't need. We can take this though. Oh, a skillet as well. I think I will keep this uh, torch going for now. I'm not sure I want to cook anything. I don't think so though. Ketchup chips, spray paint. And in here, oh, cooking oil. Nice. Oh, and flour. Nice. Now we can make more pies. That's fantastic. We want that. That is great. Worth it. Now I might make a fire here, uh, just because... I'm not sure if it's worth it actually, no. I, I need more charcoal. Oh well. I think we'll wait for that. Now in here there's actually a hidden area. Uh, it's down here. See there's loose boards. And in the beginning when this area came out, if you went on interlope or looter, you could find a revolver. So there we got this. Just a paper. And that's it. <laughs> But uh, you could find a revolver. I have it on another save. Up here we got some cloth in that. Uh, and I think we're actually just going to go to sleep pretty much. And recover some health. Let this fire die out. Yeah, we're just going to do that. We're nice and warm in here. Going to drink this herbal tea. And we're just going to go to sleep. 10 hours. We gain some health. And we'll just spend the day and the night here. There we are. How's that? Now, uh, let's eat some stuff. And oh, no, I do have pies here. They just don't smell, I guess. I think I did drop... This is a roll sip pie. I think I did drop a pie, though, down by the fire. I think I did. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, let's eat this. And let's just have some cattails too. And then we'll continue onwards to the island cottage, I think. We'll spend the evening here. We'll do some repairs and so on as well. We can harvest some stuff in the night to kill time. We, we made it, even with so little health, but it cost me some coffee, three coffees, I think it was, three or four coffees, to drink. and three Sorry. matches. And I could have instead used one of these. But. Okay, so, can I repair something? Uh, let's have a look, how much cloth do I have, actually? One, that's fine. We can repair, uh, let's go on clothing and lowest condition. So, this can be repaired. I guess these other ones we can't repair. This is, uh, I guess it is this. They're really terrible socks though. Might as well repair them for the sake of it. Oops, I forgot to drink. I have a drink here. And then grab this. Gives four. And we might as well repair some other stuff too. So 70. Um, 83. So in this 0. 0.6 heat this will give us, so this should, we should repair. There we go. And 186. 0. 0.3. 
0.03. Both of these could be repaired in that case. Yeah, we can repair both of these, I guess, just to kill some time. Not sure we can repair the combat pants, actually. A bit of a waste of cloth, but there's so much cloth, and we're just trying to kill time here. It will incrementally be slightly warmer as well. There we are. That's good enough. And then we're going to harvest everything we don't need. So let's just start doing that. Spend the night harvesting, basically. Kill as much time in the dark as we can. Shoes especially will take a while. I'm really happy we found the thin wool sweater. That's fantastic. Now it's just the socks. Socks is the last thing we really need. Anything else to do? Yeah, you can harvest the torches for some sticks. Killed quite a lot of time now, which is good. Let's hope we don't need that many torches anymore, because that was when we needed to chain the fire, which we're not doing uh, as much. So I can harvest some of these. I'm carrying a bunch of stuff that I don't really need, like the skillet and things. But I'm not going to leave them here anyway, so I'm going to take them with. Basically bring all that stuff back to base. Guess we can keep the rest of the torches, I suppose. Yeah. Uh, we don't need five torches, it's a bit much. I think I only need like two or three. Oh, we need to hunt to get more food, although at the moment we have okay food with the stuff we found. Alright. Very nice. Okay, then I think, is there anything else we can do? I can make roasted pie, that's nice. Bannock. Yeah. Very house pie. That's pretty good. Max condition. Hmm. All right. Oh, it's an Aurora. Is it actually in a row out there? It is. Maybe we should keep moving now then. Let's map this first. Here's the Vista location. So this will reveal the Polaroid. There you go. Ta da! Look at that. That's the cache we found earlier. So, I think we can make it there, no problem. Let's see how quickly. Uh, is this going? Yeah, it's fine. Uh, we need to warm up though. We, we can't go out right now, it's a bit too cold. What we could do is we can sleep one hour. And then see. And if they were still going, we could go out in it. It looks like it's still going. And we have okay health now. We're heavy though. A bit too heavy, maybe. Why am I that heavy? My care is all this junk I'm carrying. I guess so. <laughs> That's fine. Let's head to the island cottage. Can I go down here? I think you can. Yeah, you can go down this. It looks pretty easy. Let's do it. Ow. Okay, nice. And I believe it was over here I left my campfire. You can run. We got quite a lot of uh, stamina here. Here it is. Yeah. Did I drop my pie here as well, or was that somewhere else? There we are. Charcoal. Thank you. No pie though. Must have left that somewhere else. 
like uh, back in the helicopter crash or something. That's all right. This does nothing. This is a useless weapon. In the daytime, the distress pistol is the best weapon in the game, but uh, because it scares off everything, but at nighttime it does nothing. Uh, unless you manage to hit the, um, oh I see, I need to spray and fix this. I need to have the bow ready in case I get attacked. If you hit the wolf or a roar in the head, uh, you could kill it, I guess. But other than that, no. Now, while we're walking around and heading towards the island cottage and looking for more cash, let's do today's giveaway. So if you would like a copy of the Tales from the Far Territory for yourself or for a friend, I'm doing another giveaway today. And it's pretty simple, really. Just going to ask you a question. And there's no right or wrong answer, but you just share the answer and then we'll give the code to, to one of the answers. And that is quite simple. The, freezing. the question is, if you could change one thing in the long dark, what would it be? And when I say change, I mean you can add something, you can remove something, or you can change something. Maybe change the mechanic or something like that. What would be the one thing that you would like to change. Now, if you want to win the code, uh, you have to go on my Discord and the giveaway channel and write your answer there. However, feel free to write an answer in the YouTube comment as well. You can say what you want changed without playing or just double the comments. It helps the algorithm and it helps my channel if you write a comment what you would like to see changed, even without the giveaway. And if you're watching this in the future, uh, and the giveaway has ended, feel free to share your thoughts as well. What is the one thing you would like to see changed in the long knock? Please let us know. And that is today's giveaway. Now with that said, let's continue. I don't like breaking the immersion of the game too much, uh, so I don't like going on about things not game related. Although that is game related, but you know what I mean. So here we are, we're heading out to the open ice and the island cottage. Again, we're cold, but we have so much health now. Uh, the sound is bugged, I think, because I don't hear the aurora noises. But that's okay. We are quite cold, but it's really not a big deal uh, since um, we have quite a lot of health and we're not going that far to get to the island cottage. There are a lot of little things we need to figure out as well. Like there's a lot of like corpses around and hunters blinds and things. So there's a lot of stuff to loot still. A lot of stuff to loot. Well, we, we can only do one thing at a time. So here we are. Charcoal. Thank you. Gonna go to the island cottage, warm up there. And I think the other Polaroid is there now that I think about it. I think so. A little bit lucky because you can get wolves out there on the ice uh, patrolling this area, but I don't see any wolves. So that's fortunate. Up there is the cottage right there. A lot of people like this as a base. It's kind of neat. Like you have a decent location. There are no wolves immediately around it, but you have uh, fishing huts for fishing. You have wolves on the ice if you need to kill wolves. And you got um, wood and a nice view as well. There's a decent base. The cottages in Forsaken Airfield are quite distinct. They're very different from the cabins you find in the rest of the Great Bear Island. But for one thing, they're open. They don't have a loading screen, which is rare in the rest of the maps, uh, except for maybe Timberwolf Mountain. Um, and they have a completely different design, so they're very distinct, which is very cool. I'm gonna run. Alright, so here is the pathway up to the island cottage. Let's grab some cattails. I might grab some of these rose hips. For one thing, you can use them for pies, but also for teas for more traveling. Should actually have made a herbal tea now that I think about it. 
earlier because the herbal tea would be ready for the next time I need to regenerate health. And I don't think I did that. No, I only made one, or only had one rather. But when I had the fire burn, I should have made another herbal tea to speed up the regeneration process. Oh well. Let's grab all these cattails until we hunt. They're our main source of food right now. Uh, being here is almost like spawning here at the moment because I haven't hunted anything, so I'm looting. This is very similar to the uh, Forsaken Airfield start, where you just start here and, and loot everything. The main difference being that I already have some gear. But it is cold, as you can see, it's really cold, even though I am at plus 25 degrees with my clothing. It's minus 31. So, yeah, it's really cold. I say it's one of the coldest regions. I think Bleak Inlet is colder. Uh, but I'm not sure. But both of those, these regions are very cold. Let's go up here. Let's go through this little cave here. And we end up at the Island Cottage. Now, the Island Cottage can have a hammer in it. So you can find a hammer here, which is great. And if I do, I'm going to use it to uh, grind some coffee. <clears throat> and I'll leave it at the forge as well. I didn't bring a hammer because I wanted to leave one in the forge, of course. But I also didn't want to drag a hammer all the way here. And then find a hammer. And then have two. I'd rather come here, see if there is a hammer. And if there isn't a hammer, I will bring a hammer from somewhere else. Okay, let's first check over here and this little shed thing. Uh, the hammer can be on top of the barrels. It can be here or it can be over here on this barrel. It doesn't look like we have a hammer today. That's a shame. Oh well. Here we are at the island cottage though. Very cool place. Look at that. Very nice. Get a good view of the whole region and the airport. This is a cool base this is. Very very cool base. Nice views. He says while freezing to death. Oops. Miss clicking here. And then we go. Now here, oops, uh, there should be some food, salty crackers. I think this is always here. Let's actually get this out. It's a bit dark, even with the Aurora. So we got first aid kit. Pop this over with charcoal. Uh, uh, oh, rabbit, raw rabbit. That's ruined, that's okay. Salt, nice. Very nice. Dog food. Oh, cool. No, we don't need the water. Oh, is that nice? And there's the other Polaroid. This is here to the south. That's on the way out of a second airfield. So we'll do that when we leave the area. We'll take that shortcut I mentioned, but uh, going this out of here. In handy. Okay. Anything else? Got granola bar. Anything up there. I think that's it. Okay, let's map then. Close this. Well done, map. And there we are. Barely mapped anything, but... I'll tell you what I would like to change. Now, I often say that the game is perfect the way it is. There's nothing that needs changing. And I, I do have a little bit of attitude. I think the game is almost flawless, except for some bugs and that. And I don't think they need to change anything. But that said, I mean, when they had a Forsaken Airfield and the radio for those, great. So I would be happy with nothing being changed. But if, I, if you forced me to say something... What I would really like to see changed is the books. I would like to be able to place the books upright. Right? So if I pick up this book here, so this book, it now is upright. But if I want to move it around, it actually goes flat. You can rotate it on its axis. Uh, but I can't like... How does it say no bindings there? That's weird. 
And I can't put it upright like that. Which is a bit annoying. You can get a mod called Place Anywhere, and then you can place it like that. But other than that, you, you can't. Doesn't seem like we can find a... Um, we didn't get a signal, so I think we'll just stay here for a little bit. Warm up, and then we'll keep going. Uh, I don't really like carrying this around, but... We can make rabbit pie, though. Or max carry weight, which will be good, so we can make two pies. Two sets of pies, which I think we'll do, actually. Could do it now, but I don't think so. We'll do it later. I think we'll do... Um, let's eat... Some more cattails. Let's fill up on food. As much as we can, really. Then we'll sleep for a little while. Actually, we'll probably sleep for 10 hours if we can. As long as we can to regenerate. And then we're going to check out a couple caves as well. We'll make a rabbit's pie when we make the next fire. There we go, and drink. How much wood do I have? Yeah, that's good enough. Okay, we're going to sleep for... We're going to put 10 hours, but it won't be 10 hours. It'll be like 7 or something. And then uh, that's it. We're healed. What time of day is it? It's noon. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, so I think we're going to go and check out a couple caves. Let's have some drink first. A little bit too heavy. I'm going to go check out this cave that's um, here. This wolf cave. And I'm going to go around and check out a cave in the north that can have a Mackinac, which we don't need, of course, but... All right, foggy, very foggy. I think there is a deer carcass over here, actually. Maybe we should take this route. I think there's saplings, too. I think we'll leave the roll sips. We have enough for now. Drift Island. Ah, it's a snow shelter. <clears throat> we can warm up. Kind of. Uh, what just happened? Did I just bug? Am I stuck? I think I may have fallen victim to the infamous uh, snow shelter bug. <laughs> yeah, that happens sometimes and you get stuck. Don't think there's anything I can do. And if I pass time and save, I think it bugs out. This might be one of those exit things. Hmm, what to do, what to do. I think... Funny how you can do some things, but not other things. I think we might have to... Can I do this? Oh, we can, that's weird. That's weird. Uh, this might be one of those situations where you're going to have to forgive that I exit and come back in. Because I believe I am just stuck here. I can't do anything. Which is a little bit... Hmm. I could save it, but I'm pretty sure then I will just be still in here. I, you can get out of it though. You can... Um, science, I, ha I haven't had this happen to me before. But I have seen it happen to people. And... Sometimes if you then exit and come back in, it spawns you outside of it. Other times you're still stuck, and you have to message the developers basically to fix it for you. Or I could fly out of it. 
But I think this might be a situation where I'm going to have to do this. Because I am clearly stuck. Yeah. Oh, we didn't really miss anything because pretty much it was just me waking up here and that's it. But yeah. I think you, I hope you will forgive me for exiting there because that was obviously a glitch. The only other option would be to save it and then exit and come back and hopefully we're outside of it, which achieves basically the same thing. Very strange. In my view, that doesn't count as uh, scum saving because, I mean, you're stuck. What are you, what are you supposed to do? It's not a natural obstacle that, oh, you gotta... Oh, it's bugged again. Now it says, like, location discovered, but it doesn't say what it is. Oh, look, it's it's visually bugged as well. Look at that. It's, uh... The whole thing is bugged. Look at that. <laughs> what is going on with that? Oh. Huh. Uh, I don't know if it was like that before and I didn't see it because that's uh, ominous, isn't it? Ah, uh, here's the, the deer. But I don't think I'll interact with that. Just pick up the feathers. Let's head down to this uh, wolf cave. Hmm. Imagine having the run end on something like that. Right. That the, uh, it's like, oh, sorry, you didn't make it to 500 days. Oh, what happened? Oh, well, you see, I climbed into a snow shelter. Oh, what happened? Did it collapse and you, you died? No, no. I just couldn't exit. Oh. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something? I think the, the similar thing is uh, sometimes, sometimes people fall through the world. It's not very common. It's happened to me once. Just walking along, do, 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 and suddenly whoosh, you just fall through the world. Like, okay. Uh, and then some people are like, well, I'm just going to quit and exit. You know. There's all discussion with like save scumming. You know, that's what it, that's called, by the way. Save scumming is when you are in a situation that you don't want to be in. And then you just exit, quit, or alt F4, or turn off your PlayStation or whatever, so the game doesn't save. Uh, that's save scumming. But of course, there's two kind of different ones. So one is if you are exposed to something like what happened there, like a bug or something like that, that causes the game to go in disfavor un unfairly. So like, for example, maybe, um, yeah, you fall through the world, or you get uh, stuck like that. Uh, Rand once uh, was unable to exit the bedroll, and he just died, uh, passing endless time. That sort of thing, you know. That's the sort of instance where the game is basically killing you because you are the victim of a bug. So, so the the mechanics of the game that are intended to kill you are not present. You are dying due to unfairness and in those cases when people exit you know it's a little bit more let's say warranted however some people also just exit say whenever they want to so uh, if they are in a wolf struggle and think they're gonna die they just exit if they didn't manage to kill uh, a moose or a bear and they ran away uh, exit try again and those instances are a little bit more liberal, you know. They fall a bit more under each player's preference. And there's no right or way wrong to do this. So sometimes people think that if, say, a wolf enters a struggle with you and you think you're going to die, then some people feel that, oh, this isn't actually warm. Yeah, it is warm. Let me feel that if you exit, then you're kind of cheating. You should have died, but you didn't. And... Um, I maybe we should use a matcha to harvest this wolf. Oh, too low visibility. Let's just uh, pass some time then. So we can... Oh, we don't need the maps actually because we have already... 
a bit now. Well, let's just warm up a bit and chat a little bit. Um, but that's that's an attitude that's up to each player. You know, there's no right way wrong to do that. If you are one of those people who exit when you think you're gonna die, then you know that's one way of playing the game. You know, some people don't like permadeath, so it's not how the game was intended to be played. That's for sure. But it's still a way to play the game. It's not cheating per se. It's just utilizing, uh, almost like an exploit in a way. But some people don't like it. Uh, I have no judgment. If you play like that, then you play like that. To be fair, there are also this is there's always a gray area, right? So, like for example, now I was stuck, and I had to exit to continue the game. Is that the same thing? Well, it's not an intended mechanic, unlike a wolf struggle, but you're still exiting and saving. Then you have other things, like for example, some streamers, uh, most famously Kimiota, what they do is that when the stream or the run is over, and he's calling it quits, you know, he might say then, okay, thank you for watching, uh, I'm gonna save now, and then he saves the game by passing time or sleeping, and then what he does is he goes out with his bow, and he shoots all of his arrows as target practice. So he just aims at wolves and bears and stuff that's far away and he just shoots all of his arrows and tries to hit something and then he exits and then of course when he continues the next part he comes back where the game's saved and he still has all his arrows right now that's obviously just a practice like he's saying i saved it now i'm just going to have some fun just going to shoot some arrows target practice and then i'll come back right and that's perfectly fine. I have done that on stream too. But technically, you're, it's still the same though. Technically, you're still using resources. And then you are exiting and coming back, even if it's for a fun reason. See what I mean? So there's always a gray area in these sort of things. Like, where does the line go? Should you never, never, ever exit? Or should you just do it sometimes? You know, where, where's the line? I'm going to sleep for one hour or two. Warm up a bit. So that's uh, really up to each player. That's really up to each each player there. No right or wrong answer there. Let's see. Let me know what you think though, maybe in the comments. But what do you think? Do you think it should be played completely pure? Or uh, are there, let's say, um, are there degrees of tolerance there, you know? For me personally, I never uh, scum save. I never exit and stuff like that uh, at all, uh, except for when it's a bug like that. So I've done it once before on, a, on my on my main run, the old main run. I fell through the world once and just infinitely falling. Then I did the same thing. I just exit. So what am I supposed to do? Just infinitely fall, uh, like Loki in uh, 4-3. <laughs> um, but I personally just think the game should be played as it is. So if you die, then you die. But I don't have any judgment. So if you play it and you exit and save for whatever reason, then that's fine. You just do it however you want to play. No right or wrong answer there. People should play the game however they see fit. I mean, it's the same as you use a mod in a way, right? If you use a mod, technically you're not playing the game how it's meant to be played, right? Because you're adding something to the game. So, you can always make a counter argument. Anyway, enough about that. Let's head to one last cave before we call it. So, I'm walking right into Fix uh, Fog here, but I think I know the way. So, in the northeastern part of the map, there is a river, a quite a noisy river. And on the top part of that river, there's a cave, which is only accessible from one point, unless you goat, uh, which is down here by the lake. And that cave can have good loot in it. You can also have nothing in it, but if you're lucky, you can find a Mackinac jacket in it, which we don't need. But I still want to see if it's there. Uh, so I want to check that out. If you spawn here and find it, it's fantastic. It's equivalent to an HIV spawn. It's also a fishing hut, which I think we have missed. Okay, so here is the... Uh, you can hear the river. You can hear that's the waterfall going down the river. And the path up is here. Uh, there's a second path, also more down here on the left. You can go up here. 
when you're in fog like that, unless you have a really strong sense of direction, the best idea is to have a general sense of going this way, whichever way you're going, and then try not to turn left or right. Just go straight. Because eventually you'll come across something and that will tell you where you are. Uh, are you near? Uh, did you miss it? Or whatever. You know, what happened? Ptarmigans. We might grab some ptarmigans. Uh, and then you, if you get lost, you can just go backwards again. <clears throat> oh. That's no good. My bow broke. That's not great. I knew you had low conditions. Is he coming for me? There yeah, he is. Ugh. Fine. Well, that's alright. I was gonna make a uh, fire anyway, so. I'll just do that. See if we can get to the cave first. So, in this area here, there's nothing to it, except for ptarmigans and a wolf, but there is a cave over here. There is a cave near the loud waterfall. Should be more this way. Just basically look for the, the loud waterfall and go from there. I think it's down here and to the left, or is this the river? I have to check. Oh, this is the river. Okay, it's not there then, and it's up here. Or maybe it's even further, I don't know. Been a while since I've been here. When I get there, I'll scare off the wolf. Then I'll make a fire. Cook this uh, rabbit and ptarmigan. And then we're good. Might make some broth, actually. There we are. This should be it. This should be it. Ah, rabbits. Could get him to hunt that instead. Uh, I should spook this one. I'm too close. Hi there, bunny. Okay, I guess not. Hi. Do you mind staying there for a second? Just like, uh, you know. Just hang out a little bit. Uh, okay. I guess not. I never actually tried that before. I hadn't tried uh, seeing if a uh, wolf would detect me that close when he was on a rabbit. But now we know. Okay, let's light a fire here. Okay, so here's the cave, brittle cave. Got some coal here, which is great. And we don't have Mackinac, but we got ski jacket, which is fantastic. That's just as good. Very good stuff. We're gonna make a fire here. Uh, probably stay the night as well. Don't need a fire for that, but... We're just gonna cook some stuff. Could go out and get the rabbits too. The ptarmigan, we don't really need anything except for the... The... The meat. Okay. That's the fourth match I used in this episode. Cook, and we want... Ah, peach pie we can make, of course. Does that do exactly? Fatigue up. Eh. We could do that, though, I suppose. But what I want to make is the uh, rabbit pie, or... Sorry, roast pie. No, where's the one that was, like... Uh, rabbit. Ah, 
Oh, right. I'm not carrying it. I'm an idiot. I was like, I was looking for it. I'm like, where is it? Here we are, rabbit pie. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. I made a mistake. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to see if it was possible, so I didn't amend it, but I made a mistake. I forgot that there was prepping time in cooking these things. So I made a mistake there. I forgot about that. I realized in the beginning I could have just cancelled, but I was just curious to see if it would last long enough, which it didn't. So I have to use another match just to, for that stupidity and for testing out. So there's five matches used today. Oh yeah, that's, that's all right. I'm not gonna use the coal. We're gonna put these on. Okay, one more time, rabbit pie. There we go, and how are we looking with that? Ah, uh, okay, well, let's make some water then. Let's harvest right this. There we go, we don't need this anymore. Drop that. Uh, let's harvest this, we don't need this, so let's just harvest it. Oh, that takes forever, fast. <laughs> that takes a really long time. Uh, oh, actually, we have two skillets. Yeah, let's just do this then. Hey, rabbit pie. Place the other skillet. Let's cook. Uh, can I make more of this? Yeah, we can make ptarmigan pie as well. It's also max carry weight, which I think is great. And also rabbit pie. I think these are, they are very good pies, those ones. There we go. 16 minutes, sorry. Uh, let's eat just some normal stuff. Let's eat dog food. Might make some peaches pie, actually. I don't think I've made that pie before. What are you talking about? There's a load of stuff to drink, Astrid. And let's also eat this. Let's just eat and then go to sleep. Um, let's see. Let's eat some of these here as well. There we are. That's it. Have a drink. Eleven minutes. Not that. Should I make some peach pie? What does it do? Fatigue improvement. Or we'll see if it's the same. What's the calorie difference? More calories from that. Yeah, okay, let's, let's make the peach pie. I don't think I've made the peach pie before. Uh, let's see. Okay, and then I think that's it, actually. We don't need to do anything else, I don't think. Yeah, this is looking good. Let's harvest this. There we go. That's done. Uh, let's just make some water as well. Half a liter. Can make another half liter, I guess. And let's make a herbal tea. And put one more stick on here. Grab that and we can make another herbal tea. Or oh, did I use all of them? Yeah, I used all of them. Okay, it's fine. Okay, very nice, and we can just call it there. Low conditions, really. Okay, well. Then I'm going to pass some time. Actually, we're going to harvest the stuff. We're not going to be cold in here. And let's also harvest this. I do smell because of the... Uh, thingies. 
the pies, but I think that's all right. There we go. Still two. Yeah, all right. Let's see if I can sleep 10 hours. I'm going to wait a little bit, pass some time. I think that's good enough. Yeah, that's good enough. Let's do that. Uh, the peach pie is just that. We don't need that. So I'm going to eat this. Let's also eat that. Have a drink and then sleep. And then well, let's make a little note here. Drop all our pies. Oh, I had some more time we're going to eat. I didn't realize that. Whoops. Let's make a note as well. Yeah, I guess it's... Bring stuff back to airfield. And then I think we're going to sleep here. Oh yeah, we have this bed, but I'm going to use this instead. And we'll sleep. We should be warm enough. Not going to be quite 10 hours, but... Be fine. There we go. How's that? And then uh, we can eat a little bit more. And then that's it for this episode, I think. We've done quite a bit of exploration. Looking really well. Gotten some pies, got some cooking ingredients. I think I want to use more of this flour, though. Still got some more to do, though. We need to find... Uh, we need to check out a couple more places. I wonder if I can drop any of them. So we're not quite there yet. Still more places to find. Let's map this. There we go, you're up here. This is where this cave is, all the way up here. And you can find good loot there. Still have a few things to explore down here. And some other bits and bobs. And then, uh, yeah. A few, few things to check out. We're not going to necessarily do everything in this first visit. We'll do what we can. Now that said, let's pick up all this stuff. And let's actually just pass time for one hour sleep. Can I sleep? No, I'll pass time for one hour then. Save. And there we are. So, okay, fellow survivors, that is Forsaken Airfield, continued exploration and signal void. Repair the transmitter, found two cash with a little bit in it, almost died of hypothermia, but we got it. Ended up using five matches, which was a bit of a faff. One of them by accident, the others were deliberate, but at least it saved the stim. And I also had to use uh, herbal tea. I actually didn't drink the herbal tea when I slept. Whoops, that's okay. Then we have it for later. That's fine. Uh, so that's good. Uh, we're looking quite well now. We're going to do some more exploration next time. Do Justice Hovel, go back to the airfield, organize ourselves. And once we organize ourselves, we're going to head back to Broken Railroad and bring some loot with us. And then we're going to continue Signal Void. That's going to take a while to do. And eventually, we're going to have to come back here again. But that's still a little while away. For now, though, hope you enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to give away if you want to continue with, uh, contribute to that. Or just give your thoughts on it, of course. And that's it. I'll see you next time, survivors. Bye-bye.